Okay, next question. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you are all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Sumaya and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a, uh, like a small Q&A video for you guys. So I asked you guys um, to ask me some questions on Instagram. So I'm going to be going through them one by one. So let's just jump straight into it. How did you get into Arabic calligraphy? So I get this question a lot. How did I get into it? Where did I start? Um, how did I go about learning everything? To be honest with you, I'm still learning. It all started with an online course that I took. I think it was on udemy.com and it was a beginner's calligraphy course. And it was about five years ago. I was going through some really rough times. I just had my son. Um, he's five now. And I saw this course online and I thought, yeah, why not? You know, no harm in trying and I just completely fell in love. I loved everything about Arabic, just Arabic calligraphy, just everything about it, just the peace that it brings you. If you're thinking of starting um, Arabic calligraphy or you're thinking, oh, you know what, I'm really interested in this, I really want to take it further, then just do an online course. How do you get motivated? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't get motivated every single day to do something. Like I don't wake up and be like, yes, you know, today I'm going to paint this. So I'm gonna... I literally just get up and I have to work. Like it's, it's almost like going to work. Um, you have to do your paintings, you have to do what you're commissioned to do, you have to make your Instagram posts, you have to really stick to your schedule and that's how I get things done. You know, you don't rely on motivation every single day because motivation isn't going to be there every single day. You have to be strict, you have to have a, you have to have a schedule, you have to have a good like regimen, you have to have a good plan, um, you know, just some goals that you can write down that this is what I want to achieve today and this is how I will go about achieving it. Are you married? Yes, I am married, alhamdulillah. Which brings me on to my next question. Do you have kids? Yes, alhamdulillah, I do have kids. I have three amazing, amazing, beautiful children. My eldest is 10 years old and he's recently started learning the Quran by heart. So he started doing his class and I'm so proud of him. I am like literally just so proud of him. I can't even like... I can't even explain how proud I am of him. So someone's asking, where are you from originally and what language do you speak? So originally, both my parents are from Gujarat in India. So I speak Gujarati. How do you balance your family life, your personal life with your art? Um, that's a hard question actually, because you know what? It took me so long. It took me so many years to find the right balance. I feel like as time goes by, you learn how to balance your personal life with your work life. And it's the same with Instagram. I feel like Instagram is a full-time job. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, that's a tricky question. So inshallah, I see myself, well, for myself professionally, I see myself um, with a really successful YouTube channel, inshallah. So don't forget to subscribe to me. For my personal life in five years time, alhamdulillah, I see myself, like my kids will be all grown up. I will have a lot more free time on my hands to make more art, um, wherever, you know, I'm not, I'm not too focused on like, you know, wherever Allah takes me, to be honest with you, you know, I don't have many five year plans. I'm, I don't even know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. Like, I don't even know where I'm gonna be next week. So I don't really plan for like, where I'm gonna be in five years, you know? But inshallah, wherever Allah takes me, that's my answer. <laughs> Do you have a qualification in art? No, I don't have a qualification in art. I don't have a degree in art. I studied art at A level. Um, but I didn't study art at university level. I actually have a degree in law, which is really weird considering I went into art. But yeah, I have a degree in law. I studied law for four years at university. Um, yeah, but I never pursued it any further because I just didn't like it. I felt like it was so boring for me and I just wasn't into it. I wasn't into like anything legal or I just didn't want to go into it. I passed, I mean, I got a 2-1, but it was just not something I wanted to do 
for long term, you know. Do you wear niqab full time? Um, I get this question a lot. No, I don't wear niqab full time. I don't wear niqab in real life. I only wear it online because I'm really concerned for like my privacy. Um, I've had pictures of me stolen and people just use them as like their display pictures, which I find really weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I find that really awkward when I see my face like, on someone's profile picture because it's not me it's you know and I just since then I just thought you know I'm just gonna cover my face and wear a niqab online um yeah I don't really wear a niqab in real life but inshallah one day I, I do hope I can wear a niqab in real life one day okay next question I've got tea here so tea break lift it up and so yeah I hope that explains how I eat wearing this. Where are you from? So I'm from the UK. Um, I used to live in London. I was born um, born and raised in London. Um, then when I got married, I moved to Lancashire. Uh, but my parents are still in London. My, my brothers and sisters are all over the UK. So I'm always traveling. I'm always like, I'm always in a different place. Alhamdulillah, which is so nice because you know, a change of scenery is always really nice. Um, but most of the time I spend in Lancashire and in London. My parents are in London, so I go to visit them often. Can you do a niqab tutorial or a hijab tutorial? Um, so this is a half niqab that I've got on right now. And yeah, I can do a niqab tutorial, I guess. I'll probably do it on my Instagram story or something, um, unless, you want a video on it like a youtube video um let me know in the comments below what you want like where do you want the tutorial what medium is your favorite to work with um i actually really love using gold leaf um i feel like gold leaf and acrylic are my two favorite mediums what gold paint do you use um i don't use gold paint really i use gold leaf uh, which is completely different it's like it's like a it's like a sheet of gold that you use it's not real gold i know a lot of people confuse it um, with real gold leaf, it's not real gold leaf, it's imitation gold leaf and you glue your artwork and then you stick your gold leaf on top. I've got loads and loads of videos on that, I'll probably link them in the description box below if you want to see. Do you have a picture of your first ever painting? Um, I don't have a picture of my first ever painting but my mum, she has a lot of my old artwork around her house. Um, I'll probably have to get some pictures but I've never taken a picture of them because I just don't like them, I don't like them hanging around and like I just don't like them. I don't like my old artwork at all. I, I think it was really bad, but my mum, for some reason, she still has them on her wall, which annoys me so much. Because every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, that is so bad. Like, mom, please like take it off. But she never listens and she just keeps them on. Like, she's like, no, I love them, you know? But no, I don't have any pictures. Do you make your own pens? Um, yes, I actually do make my own gullums. I have a video, I'll probably link it in the description box below, but yeah, I do make my own gullums for writing. I just feel like it's so much cheaper and just easier. What inspired you to start calligraphy? Um, like I explained at the beginning of the video, um, it was about five years ago and I was inspired to start Arabic calligraphy because of the low points in my life that I was going through. It gave me so much relief, just, you know, just... To be honest, I feel like it's a religious thing. To me, it's a religious thing. Um, but then, when I share it with the world, like when I share it on Instagram, it's like an art thing as well. Like it's, I can't explain it. It's just, I can't explain the relief that it brings me. Um, so I started for personal reasons, just to like, you know, focus on something other than things that were going on in my personal life. How do you film your Instagram reels? Um, I film my reels using my camera, my phone camera. I don't have any fancy camera that I use. Um, I film my YouTube videos on my Canon, which I'm using right now. But other than that, most of the times I just use my iPhone. How many push-ups can you do? None, I can't do any. Tea or coffee? Tea, 100%, always, every day, tea. Is it difficult to practice your religion in England because of Islamophobia? No, I feel like, I get asked this question a lot, but no, I don't feel like um, it's hard to practice your religion in England at all. I feel like it's so easy for us to practice our religion. Everyone is so tolerant here. I mean, not everyone, of course, you can have your own experiences, but from what I've found, I feel like there are worse countries to be in in the world than England. I feel like, alhamdulillah, we are so blessed that we live in a country that allows us to like go to pray, 
fast, you know, do whatever we need to for our religion. Um, but Alhamdulillah, yeah, I've not, I've not come across any Islamophobia. I feel like there's so many Muslims who live in East London that we've become so um, accustomed to seeing, you know. Morty. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered some of your questions. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link somewhere. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions that you would like me to answer. I'll probably do a part two or something. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.